Oh, I clicked on it already? Oh, it's on top screen. Yeah, y'all. I mean, all right. Like I said before, this is a good one, y'all. We got a good something in store. I mean, first matchup, boy. I said um, it's going to be a triple threat match between Braun, Bob, and Drew. So, my the my my personal fact, Bobby Lashley going to pin Drew. I want Bobby Lashley to pin Drew McIntyre because... I want them to keep Braun Strowman strong. I don't like Braun Strowman losing. I want Braun Strowman to get rebuilt. I want him to go back on the same run he went back in 2018. When the crowd comes back, you have the, it's not his fault. I feel bad for him. I feel like I want to cry because it's not his fault. I was here being one of the biggest laughing stocks in Canarsie. And I was watching him on TV and I saw Braun Strowman. Really did some crazy stuff. When he had the ponytail. Big beard. And he was that going to crazy baby face monster run. I understand you turned him heel. That's okay. For a Roman agenda. I understand that. But then you turn it back face. And then you drop the ball on him again. And do not give him the belt. And then when Roman leaves. For a second time because of cancer. Because of Corona. You give him the belt because he backed out of 36 for old washed up Goldberg. He was going to put him over anyway because Goldberg is like 50, 60 years old. Who was he? That shit's so irrelevant. You can't put over a hot baby face like The Fiend. He was a baby face in my opinion. If you couldn't put The Fiend over, you put off Braun Strowman when his character was dead. That's confusing. In front of zero crowd. But you didn't know that the crowd in Saudi wasn't going to shit on you. Because they're confused. And if it wasn't a real crowd upstate. They'll boo the hell out of Goldberg. That guy was a disgrace. Thank God he's gone. What a jackass. Washed up jerk. On to, the, on to WrestleMania back at Perusian, guys. I really think Braun should not lose this match. And I really think Drew needs to take the pin or submit to the Hurt Lock. I think one pin for one submission won't hurt Drew McIntyre. McIntyre doesn't need no more championships for now. He needs to take a break and head into a mid-card or a regular feud. I think him and the Fiend will have a good feud or something. I think Drew just needs to take a break from championships right now. He's already a two-time champion in two years. And they got this. Don't, you don't want to keep shoving a new guy down your throats. Because when Kyle comes back, they're going to boo the hell out of him. The same way how Roman Reigns got booed is the same way how Drew is going to fit in that character. And Vince, you do not want that. You got to protect Drew McIntyre. And you have to protect him, the crowd from booing him. You can't just keep shoving people down his throats. So I think you got to be careful what you do with Drew McIntyre. I think Drew needs to take one pin or one submission. So... Bobby Lashley retains the championship. No new champion. Old champion. Next up, like I said, Rhea, Oscar, and Charlotte. And I think that with Sonya's new role with Charlotte, I don't know what's going on between the two parents because Sonya was, came as in as a heel. She was never a baby face. So I don't know why Sonya had this huge crush on Charlotte face. She's been favoring her every time, every way. The let got suspended for attacking the referee, and she and she dead ass, uh, nearly hurt the guy, and she says sorry, and she just reinstated. Adam Pierce doesn't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on, and I don't like it. And like I said, Lacey Evans is gonna call short this Raw Women's Championship. I hope you guys did not realize what happened before the elimination chamber. She went on a break. She faked the pregnancy with Charlotte's dad. Okay, don't. Leave Lacey Evans out of this. You guys are leaving out Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans is still a factor. All she need is when the referee not looking. And then Lacey Evans turn around and pop Charlotte right in the mouth. She's out. And then that's how Rhea draws in for the cover. Oscar's going to be out. And I think that Rhea is going to go for the pin. And Rhea Ripley is going to retain. That's what I think. That's my prediction. That's how I think what's going to happen. The referee is not going to look. I think Lacey Evans is going to turn her Charlotte around and give her the woman's right hand. And then he's going to call Charlotte. 
And Charlotte's going to have her tail hen. That's going to make Lacey Evans a baby face. Because it rolls over vert. Because it does turn Charlotte into a monster heel. So now, it's going to make Lacey over all a top baby face on Raw. So now, Charlotte is going to have a threat now. Like I said, Rhea Ripley retains the Raw Women's Championship. Okay, on to the SmackDown side. We will get back to the Raw side. We have Apollo. Uh, we don't know for sure yet what's going to happen. Will it be a Fatal 4? Here's what I would have do. On Smack... Nah, I don't... I mean, damn. I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, Paul Heyman's got control of it. I don't know what to do. Are they going to do a Fatal 4 match for the ISU Championship? Are they going to do Kevin, Sammy, Apollo, and Big E? I don't know, because Big E right now, I think Big E can't lose right now, so you can't have Apollo take the pin and Big E take the pin, so it's only, Kevin Owens and Sammy's in there for, for, for a reason, and to take a pinfall, I think Big E shouldn't be a, I think Apollo should not be a transitional champion, <clears throat> no, I don't think, I think this new pairing, I think if you want to get a guy like Apollo Crews, you guys, you spend time on building up into a major superstar since last year. I saw him in live July 4th win the U.S. championship and became a star. So you're going to tell me you're going to drop all that? How much you build this guy up from last year? It, we didn't know because how he was handled. But now you want to make him lose to and make him a transitional champion and we just paired himself with Z's? The same guy, the Capitato, the same guy was in main event and was practicing and was in under on raw underground. Why would he lose this new pairing? I don't think Apollo Cruz, Apollo Cruz, whoever he faces, rather it's triple threat, fatal fallout, we'll find out this week on SmackDown. Apollo Cruz retains the Intercontinental Championship and have a monster heel reign with Ziaz, Nigeria. Apollo Crews champion will reign over SmackDown until SummerSlam. Sorry, Big E, but you have to wait until time is right to get. When the time for Apollo to be beaten, you have to stay ground and get into some mid card feuds, but Apollo is not losing. Crews retains. Next match females, women division. We got the new SmackDown Women's Championship, Bianca Belair. Going against the reigning, defending, the reigning, reigning SmackDown champion in history, Bailey. I mean, I really like the feud they had before it was over the title. I mean, I really like the, the, the optical course. It kind of remind me of Matt Hardy and MVP and what they did on SmackDown in 2007 and 2008. I forgot, but it was kind of cool. But that's the role I'm thinking. I mean... Yeah, I mean, I really think I really like Bailey. I mean, Bailey's great. I I like Bianca, and I think that Bianca losing won't make no sense. So there's no question they're gonna steal the show. You give these women on any show, they'll steal any any match. So they're gonna have a great match. I really think I think Bianca going over. So I think Vince build up her a lot, and I think Bianca going over strong. So Bianca gonna win this one. Next match. Then we go on to another fam. Next match. For SmackDown Division. A man's. My idol. My generation Hulk Hogan. The universal champion currently. The head of the table. Right here guys. The head of the table. Going against. The transporter lookalike. Sir Cyborg. Cesaro. But he has problems, though. He has to go up against his cousin, St. Paul. But this shit is going to be fucking epic, okay, guys? You talk about a match. These guys have recent history. I mean, I mean these guys fought over 2015 over the WWE Championship qualifying tournament. Roman Reigns and Cesaro always have great matches, okay? And I, like I said, I've told people in the past... Roman Cesaro is going to give Roman Reigns trouble. He tried to downplay Cesaro. That's not cool, but I'm telling you right now, 
from my personal perspective, Roman Reigns is going to get trouble to try and underestimate Cesaro's strength, ability, and quickness. That man is incredible, okay? Cesaro should have been, goodness gracious, how many champions he should have held. The man can't talk, I understand. He's a foreign rest, accent wrestler. Give the guy some damn credit. He's a freaking athlete, okay? Cesaro should be a freaking five-time, six-time world champion. He's going to have a problem. I told, understand Roman Reigns is my guy, but Roman Reigns, you ain't going to have a problem. How, how these guys are getting built up. You better make sure guys like Adam Cole and Brock and these guys don't show up like a Keith Lee. You're going to be in trouble, Roman. I'm telling you, you're my guy. But I'm personally telling you, you're going to be in trouble, okay? Mr. Head of the Table, you got some trouble in that table. Anybody, there's a lot of threats around that dinner table you're chewing on, okay? Remember I tell you, Mr. Roman Reigns. It's going to be a good match. Will Jimmy cost Roman the match to have him cost him the Universal Championship? I don't know. I mean, this is a tough one, bro. This is a very... This is like predicting... Damn, I... Like, it's kind of like predicting... The Golden State Warriors are 7 and 18 going against the 20,000s and 23 Shaq and Kobe. This is a tough one, y'all. This one is going to be a classic. This is a tough one. This should be the main event, y'all. This is going to be the main event. If Roman Reigns call it, Roman Reigns says it. This is going to be a tough one. But can Roman pull it off? Or I think... There's a babyface turn coming that works for Seth Rollins. Because I remember last week, SmackDown, Seth Rollins said, said if I have a problem with you, I'm going to do with your cousin. I'm not scared of anybody. So it looks like there's signs of Rollins going back to the, the King Slayer, Beast Slayer gimmick. And I think that Seth Rollins might turn babyface. I'm, 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 I don't want to see Rollins in... And 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 Rollins and, and, and the big dog again. And I don't want to see Lat, Brock, and Roman again. Nobody wants to see those two matches again. That's all rinse and repeat. This is a new era. This is a new Roman Reigns, and this is a new brand. Nobody wants to see that shit. This is not shitty baby face Monday Night Raw and dog shit shoved down our throats. Roman Reigns. Nobody wants to see that character. So Rollins in the baby face mode. I'm all down for it, but Rollins with Reigns again. Rollins taking the title? Hell no. Brock taking the title for Reigns? Hell no. But it would advance his character if he beat Rollins and Brock? Hell yeah. Definitely. But right now, I'm going to have to go with Roman Reigns running, y'all. And I think that U.S. Championship, like I said, I want to bring it back to Raw. And I said the U.S. I'm going to say Sheamus, whoever goes, Sheamus going to win. I think Keith Lee... This should be a new a return. I think Keith Lee comes back and turn heel. Not stay babyface. But for the two, for the three champions for Raw, SmackDown, the women's. Um I don't know about Shayna and Naya. I don't think they have the night off. So I'm gonna go with AJ and Almas. If they pick Riddle and Randy, it's not gonna end good. They pick the Viking Raiders, they're gonna any team AJ and almost going, they're gonna lose. So AJ and almost gonna retain either way. So and I'm gonna and I'm like I said, the dirty dogs versus Rey Mysterio and Dominique Rey Mysterio's son, his young boy. So I'm I'm, I'm like I said before, man. I keep tight on the dirty dogs. There's no reason why. The Dirty Dogs should lose the championship. I mean, they're two good veterans and know what they're doing. I don't take the title off of Bobby, Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler Justice quite yet. Probably give it to like Money in the Bank or something. I think Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode need a longer reign. I think so. I think they, I think so. I don't um, I think I'll give, give Ray Dominic some time, give him some wins, have him some sympathetic. I mean, the crowd coming back. Well, I'll... I give that to a crowd. I wait to like a crowd, maybe like a SummerSlam. You didn't put that in front of nobody. Why would you put Rey Mysterio and Dominic win the title 
win titles in front of zero fans in the Thunderdome. No. Wait to the right moment. That's when you pull the trigger. Do not pull the trigger yet. It's not the right time. I'll be pissed if you pull the trigger. Keep it on the Dirty Dogs, okay? The Dirty Dogs, what was Rude and Dolph going to do? Nothing. Give the Usos some time. I can see the Usos taking the title off of Ray and Dominic. It's too early for Roman to lose the title. It's too early for guys to people be losing, okay? Stop pinning your champions. You hear me? I'm not going to say again. I'm giving Vince McMahon a warning. Stop pinning your world champions on live TV. This is the second time I'm going to tell you. If I see it again, I'm not watching your shows. Yeah, y'all, but that's your WrestleMania backlash prediction. I'm a King Francis, y'all. I'm out of this bitch. 16 minutes, y'all. This was a blast. Hope you have fun. Good night.